Welcome back to another episode of Making with Mihir. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the RC electronics that go behind radio-controlled vehicles. And at the end of this video, you'll know all the electronics to make your very own radio-controlled vehicle. Okay, so everything you see in front of you is A. Reusable and B. Is all you need to create your very own RC vehicle. Now, what are we dealing with here? Well, of course, there is the transmitter, receiver, servo motor, battery, brushless motor, also known as BLDC, and the electronic speed controller, also known as the ESC. Now, considering that RC stands for radio controlled, we don't really need to think about any of those. All we need to think about is the transmitter and the receiver. Okay, so the actions we want our RC vehicle to carry out, we carry out on the joysticks, the knobs, and the switches of the transmitter. Because this is a six channel system, all these inputs have to be divided up into six channels. So on my transmitter, it's one, two, three, four, and five and six get divided um, among the switches and the knobs. This these six channels correspond to the six channels on the receiver itself. The receiver and the uh, transmitter talk to each other on 2.4 GHz. We can now remove the transmitter from the equation as the transmitter is not going to be on the vehicle itself. On the vehicle, everything will be controlled by the receiver. Now the peripherals that will be contro controlled by the receiver of course are the servo motor and the brushless motor. Now the servo motor runs on 5 volts and so does the receiver. So I can just go ahead and plug that in directly. However, the brushless motor runs on 12 volts. And connecting it directly to the battery isn't a very good idea because A it has 3 wires and B we won't have any control over it. So the middleman that we use here is the ESC. The ESC also has 3 output wires which correspond to 3 output wires on the motor. Just like so. Using butter connector is always a good idea. Okay. Now that we have the ESC connected to the motor, we are obviously going to need some 12 volt power for the motor itself. That's where the battery comes in. But that still doesn't answer our question, how is the motor controlled by the receiver? Well, this signal wire and power wire connect directly to the receiver just like the servo motor. And there you have it, your RC wiring is complete. Now in an actual plane or something, you'd have two servo motors instead of one, but I've shown you all the wiring. Now if I just bring out my transmitter right here and turn it on, the motor is going to go ahead and give me three beeps. and. When I bring it down, last beep, that means it's active and I have full control over the motor. With the servo motor, I've connected on channel 1, so there you have it. Now of course we have our trim settings as well that allow us to adjust the center point of the transmitter just by using those and those are really helpful while calibrating your plane. Now if you're wondering, can certain devices only go on certain channels? No, you're absolutely wrong. As you can see, all six channels of this receiver use the exact same pinout. I have signal to the left, positive in the middle, and ground to the right. This means I can plug in any peripheral device and control it with my transmitter. The channels of course can be adjusted in the transmitter if it has a screen or through the USB and software it comes with. And there you have it, RC Electronics 101 with Mihail. I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, have a great day.